Welcome to the 28 day challenge diet plan. So the diet plan is broken up to four parts, which I'll be sharing with you in this video. Make sure you watch this whole video because it will show you how you can get the best results over the 28 days. By the way, if you're brand new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the family and get some gains. So the four parts I'll be sharing is what to eat. Number two is portion control. Number three is your water intake. Number four is your cheat meals. And then I might give you some final points of advice at the end of the video. So let's get into it. So number one is what to eat. 80% of the food you want to be eating should be unprocessed foods or just natural foods basically. Fruits, stuff that's grown from the ground, poultry, meats, stuff like that. And then 20% should be stuff that is man-made such as bread, pasta, protein powder, stuff like that. That's what you need to focus on. So 80% that everything you eat should be unprocessed or natural foods. 20% should be unnatural or processed foods. I have links below in this video that will give you meal ideas so you can create your own meals that you will like and actually enjoy because that is the most important bit of a diet. Number two is your portion control. So I have a plate method put in place for this diet for people that have no idea or no clue on what a healthy portion is in a certain meal that they would eat. I have a whole video talking about how you can use this and what I actually eat on a day-to-day -day basis. All you have to do is click it above here. It will basically show you a plate on how every single meal that you eat on that plate, how you can portion foods you should be eating on that one plate. It keeps it very easy and very simple for you to use. And this is what I use because the simpler it is, the easier it is to follow. And if you didn't know, 80% of your results is based on your diet and then 20% being in the gym and working out. Keeping the diet simple is the number one way that someone can follow it. You want to eat three to four meals every single day accompanied with one snack. Now I do have a file down below, you click on it, it shows you meal ideas and it also shows you snack ideas as well which you can choose from. You can have your own snacks but you need to follow the guidelines in those PDFs I've created for you below. If you stick within the guidelines, then you will have the best results possible in the 28 day challenge. This will explain it fully. And if there isn't anything that you don't understand, comment it below and I'll do my best to get back to you to make sure you understand it. Part number three is your water intake. So water is very important for you to lose weight. This is the secret on how you lose so many pounds so fast in the first one to two weeks of the plan because your body holds a lot of water weight unless you are actually drinking a lot of water already. So the daily recommended water intake you should be drinking is at least two liters, between two to three liters a day. Now the easiest way, again, to keep it simple is as soon as you wake up, have a half pint of water and just neck that down as soon as you wake up. And let's say you're having three meals a day, drink a half pint of water with every single meal you have. So that will be four pints of water you've actually drunk. Having one as soon as you woke up, another three with every single meal you eat. It's a good habit to have to make sure you're drinking your water. And then the last time you should be drinking water is just before you go to bed because your body needs that to keep it hydrated. If you're not hydrated, your body will struggle and again, hold your water weight as you are sleeping. If you struggle to drink whilst eating your meals, then there is another easy way and that is having a two liter bottle of water to make sure you at least finish that bottle every single day and then just fill it up in the morning. Those are the two easiest ways to make sure you are getting your water intake every single day. Trust me, there's so many benefits to doing this. It is important that you drink your water. Stay hydrated, stay healthy. Point number four is your cheat meal. The most exciting part of the diet. You have one cheat meal every single week. Choose whatever day you want. I normally choose say the weekend or Friday. Usually that is the hardest time for me to start craving foods that I really want to eat. This can be anything. This could be pizza, this could be takeaway. Just don't go stupid with it and have two or three platefuls in one meal. Still one plate, just fill the plate sensibly because you don't want to waste all your hard work as you're going through the 28 days. So there's the four points. But also I will add a secret extra point for the people that are watching right to the end of this video. You really want to speed up and lose as much fat as possible in the in the 28 day challenge, I would suggest adding a very low state cardio every single day as you go through this challenge. For myself, how I got the best results, I walked 10 minutes every single day. I chose a part of the time of the day. I normally like walking in the morning, just for 10 minutes, cleared my head, 
get ready for the day. If you hate walking, it doesn't have to be walking, it can be cycling. It can be even be a treadmill at home if you have one, just walking on the treadmill. It can be literally anything. You just need to make sure you're sweating when you do that. Kicking up a sweat, it's almost like a warm up to a workout. 10 minutes every single day. If you skip a day, that's absolutely fine. You don't have to kick yourself for that. If you really want to accelerate your results, guarantee you, you will not regret adding that to this 28 day challenge. Look through the links that I put in the video. They'll give you the ideas, not just feeding you fish, I'm teaching you how to fish as well. Snack ideas, meal ideas, how to split up the plate, and then just informing you all the things you need to know when it comes to having a diet and sustaining a healthy plan for the long term. I wish you all the best on the 28 day plan. If you haven't already yet, hit the subscribe button, join the family, and get some gains. I'll see you in the next workout.